one of the single best and worst choices for making it easier to play the Call of Duty games online was the playlist system. It's a system they introduced in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare that would allow you, on console at least, to just pick the game mode you want and it would throw you into a lobby. No more finding a server that had the game modes you wanted, you click Team Deathmatch and it'll put you in a match of Team Deathmatch with all the other people playing the game. On PC, this didn't happen until Modern Warfare 2, where Call of Duty World at War and Call of Duty 4 actually had server browsers still. But from Modern Warfare 2 on, even to right now, there hasn't been a server browser for Call of Duty in a long time. But that system made it far easier to find matches casually and just play the game normally. It was a pretty good system and overall it worked, but a lot of people will view that as the death of the server browser. The issue with that system though, and how easily you made it find games, is that when those games start to die off, it becomes harder and harder to find the matches. Games like the older Call of Duties on PC, with their, frankly, dwindling player accounts, become nearly impossible to actually find a match. That's why I want to talk a little bit, not for a long time, about these Call of Duty PC clients. See. All these clients do is allow you to play different Call of Duty games on PC that didn't have a server browser with a server browser. And you might think like, oh, there's gotta be more to it than that, but like, look at the length of this video. It's, it's not, there's not more to it than that. I'm not gonna sit here and explain to you that like, this is a great thing, because really it speaks for itself. All these clients do is allow you to take your older Call of Duty games, games where like, maybe they have less than a thousand players, maybe they don't even have a few hundred, maybe they're like under a hundred. And now, you can find a server browser, launch up the game, say, I want to join this server because I can see that this one has like 12 out of the 18 total players, so that's enough to play a match. And you can go play a match at Call of Duty and just enjoy yourself and have a good time. And these clients are coming out quickly. Like, I remember last year there was one for Modern Warfare 2 and I was like, oh, that's cool, I'll download that. Now there's one for Ghost and Black Ops 2. Black Ops 1 actually had a server browser, so they didn't need to do it for that one, which was weird because Modern Warfare 2 didn't. But like Ghost and Advanced Warfare, and I think they're working on one for like Black Ops 3. Like there's a ton of Call of Duties that they just have these server browsers now, where it's super easy to like hop in and play these games. And in Call of Duties that I would have considered to be completely dead, where you could barely find servers that possibly couldn't. They have new life breathed in them, and honestly, that's a great thing, and I'm super excited to see where we can go from there, because this is just single-handedly reviving some of these Call of Duties. Like, I don't want to have to go back to my PlayStation and play Advanced Warfare, where not everything's unlocked, and I have, like, certain guns I'll never see because it's random loot boxes that I'm not gonna pay for, when I can just go hop on here on my PC, see a match of a server that's like mostly full, join it, and bam, I'm playing Advanced Warfare, and I'm having a good time. It's really cool, and these clients are really awesome. I can think of a few more games that could probably use them, but maybe we'll see some of those in the future. Who knows? 